All right, so I'm hoping I'm hoping this is gonna work because I just pressed start. Now the question is, did it start? This is my first time doing this. Come on, please live stream. Work with me. <laughs> okay, I think I think we're live. I'm hoping. So we're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. Okay, I think we're live. Ermigert, <laughs> what's up guys? So finally, I, I I've i for the last how many minutes? For the last eight minutes, I've been trying to figure out how to get my my um live stream setup going. This is the first time ever that I have a full setup. This this is like first time for me, so I have like gamer window up here and then I have you know my, my screen over here so it should technically look like a normal like like a normal video so I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping that you guys can hear me can you hear me let me know with by the way I have like my over here you guys can see I have you over here so I can I can I'm hoping not to miss any chats but most likely I will so if I do miss your chats, I do apologize um, ahead of time. If you ever do a super chat, please be very patient with me because I'm still learning. Um, they, on they only pin the five and up, five dollars and up. So if I do miss it, I apologize hardcore. I see turtle emojis. I see magma. Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> you guys are so amazing. So today... Um, Okay, I'm glad you guys can hear me. Some of you guys were here way before the live stream even started, so I want to shout you guys out. Sorry for those of you that I, you know, may not have shouted out ahead of time. So I'm going to say hello to Ali Cart, Daphne, Nerdy Llama, and then, hang on, I'm checking my phone. I'm checking my phone. Where are you? Yeah, some of you guys were here way ahead of time. That was That was really cool. So, like... Carson Kremsky, Kate Jones, S. Goodman. You guys were here and playing like Truth or Dare or something like that. So yeah, you guys are hilarious. I love you so much. Today, I want to unbox these two boxes that I have no idea what's inside. The only thing I know is um, that we have, one of them is supposed to be like a glitter box and the other one is supposed to have molds. What's in there? I have no idea. These are from Sophie and Toppy. Not sponsored, not product placement, none of that stuff. So you guys don't have to feel any any kind of, you know, I'm not, I'm not advertising to you. <laughs> none whatsoever. Oh my gosh. I, I feel so, so nervous because this is like so, so, um, I'm, I'm professional now. Look at me. I have leveled up. Look at that. I get my trusty little exacto. So many, so many turtles. Thank you so much, Star Dragon. You know I love turtles. Oh, Dyslexi Queen. Is that did I say it right? Dyslexi Queen. There's Dyslexi Queen. I love you so much. Keep crafting. I love you too. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm I'm gonna. I promise at the end we're gonna do like a Q and A and shout outs. So if you can hold off just a little bit just a little bit and be patient with me so I think it's gonna be interesting to see should I open the bigger box first or the littler box I want you guys to make a decision big or little so I'm just gonna bring them over here I want to see what you guys are gonna say and the chat is saying what the chat saying curious let's see Megan Goodman, thank you. I literally love you so much. You helped me with my depression so much. Thank you. That means so much to me. I know that sometimes when I'm feeling down, um, I do watch some of my favorite creators too because, you know, their energy and their enthusiasm for things does help me get uplifted. And your comments, your comments, believe it or not, actually help me feel really well too. Well, you guys are amazing. Sam, what's up, Sam? Thank you so much for the super chat. So you guys are saying... Little box, little, little, little. Okay, little box obviously is the winner. So let's go with the litter of little, 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 little box. <laughs> Can't talk anymore. Okay, so we're gonna do the littler box and see what's inside, mites. 
maybe I shouldn't start with a um, <laughs> with an Australian accent because I will not be able to keep that up. No Australian accent because then I will offend some of you. All right, time for that elevator music. Where's my elevator music? I don't have elevator music. I should I should have like prepped it on my phone or something. Okay, so do we think that we have glitter or molds in here? I'm curious to see what you guys are gonna say. Glitter or molds? Ooh, let's see. So I'm gonna check what you guys are saying. Man, it's so colorful. Look at that. It's so pretty. But it's fluff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel okay. You know what? We're gonna make a mess. It can't. It can't be helped. It can't be helped. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying. Glitter says Nut Cat Meow. Hi from Slovakia. Oh my gosh, I love you guys so much. Oh, I think, I think it's glitter. So for those of you who voted glitter, oh my gosh, all of you, you know what, wait. Let's close it. The process of, you know, closing boxes and then doing this. Pretty satisfying. <laughs> so we get to throw boxes. I think it is glitter. So for those of you who voted glitter, you'll be winners. Okay, I, I, I feel like this live stream is just going to be messy all around. Okay, so we're just going to put it over here. All right, so in this box, I know some people got this box and they were saying that some stuff was blacked out, so I can see it already. So some of the stuff here was blacked out. So it means that a couple of items were removed. So they did say that they were sorry for that. That's that's what I hear. Other than that, I'm still pretty pretty lost on what's in here. I'm just gonna take everything out. Ooh. <laughs> we're throwing things. Okay. Oh, that is so pretty. So first thing we have are some purplish glitters that have a little bit of iridescency. Do you guys see that? ASMR for your liking. Oh, hang on. I'm just double checking. Oh, Elf Daughters Games, you have helped me get into polymer clay myself, which has been which has been really helping me. I may have also subscribed to Sophie and Toffee Box. <laughs> yeah, Sophie and Toffee Box, for those of you who are not sure what to get and you kind of want to try a little bit of everything, it definitely works. Thank you so much for the super chat. You guys are so sweet, but you're not listening. I said, wait till the end. <laughs> so I, I don't want to feel bad like missing your chat. So for sure, if I do, I do apologize. I need to get myself a moderator. Do you guys see how pretty this is? That is super pretty. That is really nice. I'm going to have to eventually uh, do a craft along with you guys on live streams. So once we do that, then I think it's going to be really fun to work with you guys. Like, I'll tell you ahead of time, okay, we need to get, you know, make sure you have, you know, all these materials, and I'll list them in the, in the description box. What is that? I, I, I self-interrupt. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll tell you for sure ahead of time. I always interrupt myself. So that's just the kind of person I am. Yeah. Okay, so this one seems like they're crescent moons and stars. So I'm, I'm so worried I'm going to make a mess, but... What's the point if we can't have fun, right? So this is what we have. That is so pretty. Oh my god. That is so cute. So we have, yeah, we have like little crescent moons that look like this. And then we have little stars. And these are not flat. I don't know if you guys can see. But they're kind of rounded. I don't know. I have like cat hair all over my face. <laughs> yeah, these are really cute. We have also single moons. I don't know what that is. Yeah, be patient with me. I'm still working on this camera, but man, the zoom on this camera is so pretty. It's it's supposed to be 4K, so I'm really curious to see how it's actually going to replay later on. So hello to you guys. All right, next glitter. Oh my gosh, that is like pastel goodness. Pastel, I want to know, by the way, but, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, these only come in, in like, little jars. By the end of uh, the live stream, well, you know what, by the end of this box, I'm really curious to know which one is your favorite of all the glitters. 
thing that fits. <laughs> there. Box. Right behind. All right, so I want to see what you guys are saying in the chat. Let's see. This is my first stream. What's up? You make me so much happier. I'm new. Welcome, Penguin Lover, to the nerdy family. Okay, so first we have over here, like some stars and circles. They're all like pink and blue, all baby pink and blue. And then here we have some squares. It's pretty nice. I think we can see them better over here. So yeah, we have some pink and square. pink and squares. <laughs> I can't talk. What's that one? Oh, these. That's weird. What is that? It's like sequins and diamonds. Let's see here. Sequins and diamonds. Next we have. Oh, I love these. These are my favorite to put into resin pieces. This here we have some cute little stars. Mini mint, use glitter. <laughs> yes, it's like me and stickers. Yes, I love stickers so much. Ooh, hearts and clovers. That is that is super interesting. But again, they're baby blue and pink. So we have hearts over here, and then these are just stars, but it's less baby color. It's almost it's like oh, you know what it is. It's the insides of these, but not really. <laughs> it's kind of like this, but not really. So is it really the inside? Anyways, these are like the contours. So you can see holes in the middle. And this, well, you know what? This one still has kind of holes in the middle, but it's less baby bluish. Glitter is the, <laughs> did someone say glitter is the devil? Glitter is devil, says Caroline. <laughs> Why is it the devil? You know what it is? It's probably because you end up finding it even months after you thought you cleaned up, but nope, that's not it. We have some more sequins, but these ones have like holes in the middle and they're all iridescent by the way. So they all have like this shiny, shininess to it. This camera, I'm loving it. I am loving it. Notice me senpai, says Golden Jammer. You guys are so funny. And then we have little leaves, kind of look like leaves. These are nice. I want to use some of these. I just don't know what yet. Okay, so we have some flowers. Also baby colors. That's really pretty. I don't know if you guys... I hope you guys can see them well. The stream is supposed to be streaming in like 1080p or 4K, which I am crossing my fingers, is what you guys can see. By the way, also another small reminder, um, be careful with Super Chats because Super Chat only pins $5 and up. So if you do do a Super Chat and I don't see it, I do apologize ahead of time because I'm trying to keep up with your chats. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, this is really cool. I'm, I'm having so much fun so far, even though I'm, I'm nervous because it's a lot straight. It's a lot. Ooh. Okay, we have more clovers and hearts. I don't know why there would be two clovers and hearts. Where is it? I don't think I would use that many clovers and hearts combination. There we go. But this one is more like, um, can you see here? So we have clovers and hearts twice, but this one is a little darker, but it's still baby color. See again, the hearts here is like the outline and then the clovers are just clovers, but here the hearts are like the inside. So it's like donut versus the hole of the donut. What are, what are the holes of the donuts called? Here they're called Timbits. Some of you guys are asking for my parrot, Nivea Parnell. <laughs> he's, he's being very introvert right now. So there are days where he just does not want to come out. He's like, I tell him, you know, come here, up, up. And he just looks at me like this. Come on, buddy, come out. He, he really gives me the dirtiest, I, I did not know parrots could give dirty looks until the day I got Angel. Here we have snowflakes and circles. So, so snowflakes and circles, which is cute. But again, they're all the same color. They're all baby blue and pastel pink. Uh, and then here we have 
squares and hearts. So you would really have to theme your items around pastel colors and baby colors if you're looking for, for you know, to use these up. Oh, 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 yes. Okay, so this, I, I saw a preview on the Sophie and Toffee, uh, what's it called? Uh, Instagram. So they put previews of this and they're like, in our box, we will get this. I'm like, oh man, that looks really cool. So if you don't know foil paper, well, I think it's gold foil. Come on, Zoom. Focus. So these these foils are really sticky, by the way. So I'm not going to re... I'm going to open just a little bit because I don't mind getting messy. So this is what it looks like. And they make the most gorgeous effects when you're using them in resin. I think at some point I used it in a magical wand. And... Um, it was, it was just really a magical effect. This blue is really pretty. There's like a crack on here. I don't know why. You see that crack? It's a bit of a crack in here. Okay, and then there's just a plain golden one. <laughs> Anupam, what's up? Oh my gosh, we are 1,200 people watching. <laughs> That's amazing. <gasps> oh, I have, look, I have goosebumps. Oh my god, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot of people. Do I have to say that? That's a lot of people. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a couple of seconds to shout you guys out. Put your favorite food in the, in the, uh, in the chat. Put your favorite food, okay? I, I want to see what your favorite foods are. Put it either as a comment or as an emoji. And then we have foil, but this time black and gold. <gasps> black and gold are absolutely gorgeous. Black and gold. I, I love glitter so much but these are gonna be really amazing all right so let's see sunsman loves donuts let's see what we got here sushi says alicia watkins and oh wait i'm gonna have another one i'm checking here did someone like the hang on pizza says desiree i'm gonna shout two more people out mega kiki cat loves cake and of course, Lily Squick loves French fries because, guys, can't get enough salt, can we? <laughs> you, you have no idea. When I'm, when I'm doing Salty Crafter, the face I make, it, it, it gives me cramps. So when I do the face, I'm like, I have to, I have to first like get into the zone mentally. You know, I'm going to shout two more people. Uh, Taco by Taco Girl 795 Spaghetti says red lotus flower okay so the face i have to make is kind of like like this right <laughs> and every time i do it i start laughing and I, I can't keep that face for very long but one day um i want to put a compilation video of you guys doing the salty crafter face i think that would be super fun to see you guys do that because that that would be absolutely hilarious okay the big box. Are we ready for the big box? I think we are because we have a lot of glitter in here. So if you guys want to check it out, by the way, um, for the Sophie and Toffee glitter stuff, I'll leave a link for that. It is a subscription box, but if you know that you like specific colors, it might not be for you if you don't like surprises. So don't, don't, don't subscribe to a surprise box if you don't like surprises. If you like specific things and you know exactly what you like, don't, don't, don't take the risk. Don't do it. Okay, let's see the big box, which now we know is going to be with mold. So a lot of you guessed the smaller box was going to be glitter. You clever little beavers. You know, you're Canadians now because you're salt. Well, no, wait, Canadians are not salty. Canadians are made out of maple syrup. I don't know what I am then. If I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not, if I'm Canadian and I'm salty, does that mean I'm not Canadian anymore? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Emma Edwards says strawberries, Rodriguez Mussy, turtles are amazing. I love turtles. Oh, I love, you know, it's like Shredder when he, um, in old school Ninja Turtles, he's, I dine on turtle soup. I can't make any voices. Some of you are like, oh, Jackie, you should sing. You guys have no idea how bad I sing, how badly I sing. Okay, molds. We have a lot less 
uh, a lot less fluff in here so I don't have to take it out. You guys ready for this? Oh no, <laughs> it got stuck behind me. <laughs> ah. There, it's done. Yeah, some of the some of you guys are worrying about the um, what's it called? The painting that is usually behind me, and you're like, aren't you gonna ruin your painting? So far, it actually hasn't gotten hit. Interestingly, well, no, that's not true. It did get hit, but there's no no damage to it whatsoever. Okay, so we have our mold box. This is what we get inside a coffin box. Oh, that is weird. I don't think I've ever done anything in coffin boxes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is huge. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go through each one as I take it out. Okay. Wow. That is gigantic. Okay, so we have a coffin box. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. So it's it's a trinket box, which means that when you make it, what will end up happening is you will have like a crevice. So you pour the resin in the back. Um, and then it comes out like a box and then you pour it in here. I'm not sure how to use it. I would have to watch some videos. And then once you're done, eventually you can actually put stuff in there. So you can put, you know, jewelry or decorations or, or something like that. But yeah, that is, that is gigantic. So make sure you don't, don't use UV resin for a project like this. You would definitely need epoxy resin. Epoxy resin is for sure what you would need because it would it would need about overnight to harden and that way you're not wasting too much money because when it comes to UV resin it can get pretty expensive. I don't know what's this. You know, I thought live streams would be quick, but I'm gonna have to clean up. <laughs> Take that bit, Jackie. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean it up. Okay, so this is no clue. What do you guys think this is? It's like a square. A uh, squishy goat says, oh my, is everything okay, oh my, over there? I don't know. Okay, so I'm really curious what this is. Because we got a coffin. I wonder if the theme is like <laughs> morbid or something. Okay, oh, a heart? That's interesting. Okay, so we get a heart and then we have a bit of a texture over here. That's really interesting. So I have no idea what this could be because it feels like it would be a box. I have, oh my gosh, I really have no idea what's going on with these molds. So again, I'm going to have to check their website to see, um, to see what kind of stuff actually happens here because I, I am completely lost on these okay let's let's see what's in here too so we get a heart i'm checking to see if some of you guys already know karen ochoa says notice me please who's doing all these unicorns miss bah majid that's a lot of unicorns <laughs> i have no idea what these molds are for okay so let's check here small heart trinket box so it is a box. So all of these seem to be boxes. That is really interesting because there's a hole over here. So my guess is the resin goes inside. I don't know. <laughs> so it's funny because when you're doing crafts, people expect you to know every single craft item when the fact is I know as much as you guys do. So when I pick these up, I'm like, what is that? What is this? What is that? <laughs> That's, I should probably, you know, put like, what is that? What is this? Okay, so this one is a circle. Um, square? No. Okay, yeah, it, it is a square. So we have a square in here, but that's a circle? I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't, oh my gosh, shapes. This feels like a square. But the lid, oh, Jackie gets it now. <laughs> Jackie gets it. Am I being salty crafter right now? I feel like I'm being pretty salty. I hope I'm not being too salty. Okay, so it's square in shape. See? Square in shape. But 
if you turn it around, because that's the top part, the lid is a circle. Seems pretty interesting. It would be really cute, actually, to make an environment in there. That would be really, you know what? I should try that. Oh, miniature environment. That would be pretty cool. I don't know, even know if you guys can hear me while I'm whispering. I hope it's not like, hey, can you hear me? I can see the, I can see the bar for the voice moving. So my guess is you can hear me. Okay. So yeah, the lid is circle for this one. And then the last one, just from process of elimination, should be the diamond box. <laughs> like, make sure your desk is clean. Okay. Oh no, the gaming kitty. It's okay, we still have uh, about less than five minutes to go. Less than five. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is, that's so weird. I think this is, this has got to be the diamond one. Because we saw the heart, we saw the square, we saw the coffin, but this is a diamond? Oh, maybe diamond because that way, this way. That's my guess. So, and then up here we have a circle lid to match again the top. You know, it would be really interesting to see them. So if you guys are interested, um, I'll post on my Instagram stories what the finished product of these molds should look like because right now they look very abstract so it's hard to imagine them i think next time what they should probably do for their boxes because it's hard to visualize maybe put a picture of the finished product in the back i think that would be great at least for us to visualize and see what it looks like so that's that that's my piece of information oh my gosh we are 1300 people watching that's crazy, son. <laughs> Why am I calling you guys son? That's just crazy. Okay, a lot of you guys are still doing turtles. Lily Valstrom, thank you so much for the beautiful hearts. Vanessa McCritty. Okay, so as I promised now, we're going to, since the video is, you know, I have nothing else to unbox, let's do a Q&A in which your chats Look at that. Are you guys ready for magic? This is something I've, I've worked hard on. That's why I'm like, oh, please set it up right. Okay, ready, set. Whoa, <laughs> look at your chats go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a couple of minutes of your Q&A. And so let's, let's start. So if you guys have questions you want to ask me, um, you can go ahead and ask me now. So now I'm, I am actually officially looking at your chats so it is right in front of me i have my computer right here and look at that it's like magic it's like magic i i worked so hard on getting this setup going i hope it's not going to be too tiny if you're seeing it um on your phones it'll most likely be pretty small but i think it's fun to see your own stuff on the screen oh my gosh you guys are so funny anisha salty crafter okay i'm gonna take some questions now all right, first question is by Shiloh Phillips. Any advice for a new crafter? The answer is there are so many bits of advice that I could give you. And the first one would have to be be patient. So many of us want this instant gratification of I was able to make something amazing. But if you actually, I promise, look at my old videos. They were not the best. Look, I'm getting goosebumps, like, just thinking about it. My old videos are so cringe. Like, I look at them now, I'm like, Jackie, why were you so scared? Why were you so shy? But shy is fine. But when it comes to my creativity, you'll see that I've gotten better over the years. Don't, don't rush, honestly, because my videos are edited. So something that may have taken me, let's say, for example... Um, 20 hours. So you know that near Gigante statue, you know, the, the dragon with the horns? That one took me 20 hours to sculpt, but it was it was edited and condensed down into about um, a 10 minute video. So people think um, that, you know, it, it doesn't take time to do these things. Oh, I think I, I think it, I don't know, did the live stream go off? I think we're good. Okay. So yeah, it, it, sometimes what happens is that you think you need to rush, but don't rush. Take your time. 
really that's that's the thing if you again if you see my first few videos they're really terrible so take your time all right next question i'll take maybe four more questions and then afterwards i'll let you guys have a good sunday okay next question is bye whoa 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 um kitty cat miner asks what is your favorite environment that you have ever made i would say my favorite environment oh that is hard let me think oh my gosh that is a harder question that i that i thought i could i could think i could i was like oh that's an easy one i can answer that one you know what i'll say a, i'll say a quick one um my favorite environment would have to be probably most recently the fortnite one just because it was 30 color challenge that's a lot of colors so if you've never tried like putting 30 colors together you're like i i could do it but the answer is um it, it's much harder so because i was able to put 30 colors in there yeah it's, it's definitely a tough one Ooh, nixie nymph says sorry adult here so serious question uh, I have depression and I constantly leave projects half finished. Do you have any tips to stay motivated? So thank you, by the way, for the, the super chat, Nixie. Um, you know, it's normal to start things sometimes and feel like you can't finish it or you don't want to finish it. And I think part of that is the fear of failing at something. And, and, and that's why in my videos, I refuse to show you perfect things because when it comes to the process, I fail. My end products are not always great. And I, I tell myself that why should I only give you end products that are perfect if I am much like you guys, a person. There are times where I am so down about my project. I'm like, I hate this project so much. I don't even want to finish it. But even though I don't like that project, I finish it because I tell myself that with each finished project, it, it feels like you, you overcome a mountain. So for me, that's, that's the hurdle is sometimes I really hate my own project. I, I tell you, like, you'll see my facial expression. I'll be like, oh, I, I can't stand this piece. So yeah, it's my, my advice to you is even if you don't like it and you don't want to finish it, take your time. You don't have to finish it in one sitting because again, you'll see in my videos, I never finish projects in one sitting. I do multiple sittings. So take your time. But by the time you finish it, I promise you, you're going to feel so much accomplishment, even if you don't like it, because it, it's, it just means that whatever skills you gained doing it is going to make the next one even better. So this is, I, I hope, I hope this helps in terms of an answer. All right, three more people. Let's go. Um, Golden Jammer, what's your favorite salty video? My favorite salty video uh, would have to be probably the Bath Bomb Kids, just because I was so thorough, uh, the, the Craft City ones. I was so thorough with that one, and I really tried really hard. But as a product, I, I think it was extremely subpar. But there are a few more that you guys suggested, which I'm really excited about. So a lot of you suggested to, for me to go pick up the guava juice ones. And guess what? I ordered them. So you guys are, are, are as salty as I am. Two more questions. Okay, let's see. Uh, Black Canary asks, favorite medium? My favorite medium would have to be actually polymer clay because it feels like Play-Doh, but it has a purpose. So it, you can actually bake it and it becomes this permanent thing that you can keep all the time. So polymer clay, hands down. I like soft clay because my hands are sausage fingers, but they're, they're always cold. So yeah, I would definitely have to say polymer clay. So Sculpey for me works. Thank you so much, Emma Bar Bum Gar Gardner for the super chat. One last question and that question goes to, let's see, finding one, because you guys are chatting so fast, I'm having a hard time finding you here. Okay, 
Um, okay, Drake, Drago Draco asks, um, did you, oh, where'd it go? Did you cut the wings from Angel or was it cut as you got him? So when it comes to Angel, I did not cut his wings. Because he was abused in the past, he had this habit of hurting himself. So much like people who, you know, don't feel necessarily well, they, they could resort to self-harms. If, if you don't treat a parrot properly, they do resort to self-harm. And that's why you have to be very careful. Be very careful when you get a parrot. I don't suggest parrots as pets because they're very complex creatures. But yeah, I, I didn't cut anything. He did it himself and he does it um, kind of regularly. I think he just gets trauma once in a while and he does it to himself, even though, you know, I try to make it as simple for him as possible. By the way, okay, the last one. Uh, the last shout out for today goes to Mariah Monroe with love from West Virginia. I look forward to your videos every week. You inspire me. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, I, I would love to visit so many different parts of the U.S. So I hope one day I'll, I'll have that that privilege because there are so many amazing sceneries in the U.S. But I think the only places I've been in the U.S. are California, uh, New York, and Plattsburgh. These are the only three places I've visited. So with that said, let me know in the chat, where are you guys from? And we're going to end it with that. So let me know where in the US or in the world you come from. I wanna see. I wanna see where you guys are from. I'm checking. There's, there's a bit of a delay. So that's why I'm like, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we have Washington from Penguin Lover, Texas. Oh my gosh, you guys are going so fast. Texas from Art 101, Slovenia from Tasa, uh, Germany from Drago, Pennsylvania, Biohazard. Love you too, Kelpie. Uh, Oklahoma, Tina, Cali Cat, Colorado. So many of you from the US. Finland, oh, we have Finland. Oh my gosh, where are you? Finland from Shining Worlds. Let's see, my international people. Hawaii from Golden Jammer. Australia. Australia, Anne-Marie? What time is it in Australia? You should be gone to bed. <laughs> Listen to Salty Crafter because you don't want me to come over there. You know what? You could dilute it with some water. <laughs> Make sure you guys dilute that. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. This is, I, I, I hope to hear feedback from you. So don't forget, I'll put pictures of the finished product of the molds in my Instagram stories. Even if you don't have Instagram, that's okay. It should, uh, you should still be able to see the stories, I think. With that said, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll leave this video up for a couple of, um, probably a couple of hours, maybe until tomorrow evening, so if you ever want to check it out, see your chats, pause, because the chat's going just crazy. Have a wonderful Sunday, I'll see you guys on Wednesday with a new Salty Crafter, it is going to be very salty, extremely salty, so make sure you prep, so... I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Love you bundles.